Good morning and welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is September 7th, 2022. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Ooh, this is the early bird special. Let's start this off with a blessing. Dear universe, dear creator, dear spirit guides, please give us a blessing for this seventh day of September 2022. A blessing for the collective. Okay. Look at this. We get the blessed treasure within. The qualities you admire in others you also possess. There is a treasure within you. This card is here to help you reconnect with the well of wisdom, creativity, and beauty inside you. It is time to shine your light. Namaste. And guys, we got two that turned over and flipped. So I'm going to read this second blessing to you because this is also a blessing from the universe. Open your open your 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 minds to receive this. This is a blessing woven in truth. Have the courage to speak your truth and a heavy burden will be list, lifted. It is best that everyone involved know where they stand. The truth will set both you and others free. This is a blessing for all concerned, but most of all, for you, dear one. Namaste. Namaste. A blessing woven in truth. Guys, the universe is telling us this day, strive to speak your truth. Strive to be understood and strive to speak to people's hearts. Good morning. All right. Let's go ahead and get this started. My first question comes from Liz L. This is an interesting question. Liz L. is asking about an internet hosting site called Kiwi Farms. This is an English-speaking forum um, that, that um, harasses other online hosts, specifically the LGBTQ, transgendered people, feminist uh, people, um, they harass them, they target them and harass them, some to the point of suicide. Liz's question is, um, um, well, will they be stopped? They were picked up by Russia um, after American uh, sites dropped them and would not host them anymore. So uh, they were fishing them, uh, shopping themselves around and they got picked up by a Russian internet server. But the Russian internet server has since dropped uh, Kiwi Farms. So let me ask this way. Um, Kiwi Farms, this is, this is terrible. This is a group that is... Uh, uh, that came out of the dark web, guys. Uh, this is a group that is uh, that it is on on forums like 4chan and 8chan and the dark web. These are daily subscribers who meet, find online personalities, and set out to harass them until they force them off the internet. This is terrorism, guys. This is terrorism. People are dying. Will Kiwi Farms, I want to do a whole throw on them, but in the throw, please Tarot, answer this question. Will they be stopped or identified or removed from the internet themselves? Will they become the victim of their own crime? Here we go. That's a better way. Kiwi Farms. Oh my goodness. Okay. Kiwi Farms entire, their, their entire thing. This is another one. They are right wing. This is a lying conspiracy theorist uh, group. 
they they follow they they create stories and then they uh, go after people they'll pull names out of the air and just start harassing people these this is an evil 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 entity this is a group of online organized bullies um, they are dangerous because people are dying however right now karma 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 thank you karma is on our side with this these people are worried now they have broken um, FCC laws in the United States and they have broken communication laws in other countries um, Liz these people they are this this group is uh, being actively investigated okay they're on on uh, unstable uh, land right now um, their whole business is not stable this entity takes truths and lies and mixes them up and goes after people who are doing nothing more than standing up for themselves trying to create safe spaces on the internet for people like-minded this group of people called kiwi farms this is a hate group this is a bunch of people who have nothing better to do than to pick on others for not being afraid to be themselves. This group, Kiwi group, is a bunch of cowards. Every single one of them, from the bottom to the top, they are cowards. And I'm going to say it just like this. The person at the top is a gay person who hates himself for being gay. Therefore, they pick on other people who can stand up and accept themselves for who they are. These are a bunch of petty bullies. People who have no life because they are afraid to live their own. Therefore, they tear down anybody and everybody else who has the courage to live their life out loud and proud. These people will be forced off the internet. They will be forced completely, but they will continue to exist in the dark shadows. But guys, these are, these are bullies. These are the same ones that wear those stupid red hats. These are the same ones that'll sit there and call a transgendered child a faggot. These are the same ones who will push a little kid out of the way to catch a baseball. These are cretins. Okay, Liz? These people are cretins. And they are being actively investigated. They will uh, face some monetary losses because of this. But again, guys, this is dark web stuff. These people are in the dark for a reason because they are worms, they are vermin, they are roaches. They can only operate in the dark because the light kills them. If you see or, or become a victim of them, please turn them into the FCC. Screenshot, report, report, report. And that's what we have to do until we force groups like this into obscurity, okay? And this is going to be an ongoing fight because as soon as they shut down one forum another forum of identical um, horror horribleness will rise back up but we have to be uh, vigilant so um, yeah Kiwi Farms a group of bullies who literally bully people to death on the internet and they have been doing this since like 2013 okay people have died but they are finally being investigated they will be shut down and this group will be removed until they rebrand themselves and come out with another name because that's how they operate as soon as one head gets cut off another head grows back in its place Guys, the only thing that's going to fix this is us fixing ourselves. These are people who hate other people because those people live their lives freely. And there's no other way to say it. These are people who hate other people because other people are brave enough to live their lives on their terms. terms. And this group of people just can't have that.
No, they want to force people into obscurity. They want people to be ashamed of themselves because these people who are in this group are ashamed of who they are. And, and we have to look at it as that. It's, it's the four fingers pointing back, okay? They point the finger at someone and say that they are something, but there are four fingers pointing back at them that, are, that is identifying exactly what they are, okay? They are what they say other people are. They are monsters. They are cowards. They are criminals. And they don't matter. And I'm not going to give them one more second of air. Okay, my next question is from Mickey J. Mickey would like to know, does old Donnie boy have dementia? And guys, what I'm going to say right now, because I've been seeing this for the last, oh, five or six years. Donnie's been, Donnie has been getting progressively worse. Now, we all know he's not a very intelligent person, but he is intelligent enough. Now, this is the one thing that we cannot do, and that is let these people fool us, okay? Just like old George uh, Bush, everybody wanted to say he was a dumb as a rock, dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah, he may not be the, the brightest bulb uh, in the box, but he is not, not an idiot, okay? And we have to stop that because this is how we make people dangerous. And we allow them to get away with things for a lot longer than they should. By us labeling Donnie stupid, we give him more air, more, more uh, rain to play with. Because then people are saying, oh, he doesn't understand what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. Donald Trump knows exactly what he's doing. Exactly what he's doing. Okay? And no, he may not be the most intellectually uh, 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 forward-thinking person in the world, but he is not the dumbest person either. And he is malevolent. Okay? But this question is about, oh, uh, oh, this question is about Donnie's dementia. Does Donnie... Is Donnie suffering from dementia? And he is in the early stages of it, guys. He is in the early stages of it. He is losing words. He's forgetting words. He's forgetting people's names now. Um, when uh, when he speaks, he's starting to repeat himself. And he doesn't uh, re recognize it yet. So, Mickey, yes. Uh, my, my guides are telling me. And this is what jumped out and flipped over. My guys are telling me that Donnie is in the beginning stages of age-related dementia. This is age-related. This is not Alzheimer's. This is just old age-related dementia. Um, this is due to his uh, nasty high-fat diet. Um, he does have some issues with his brain. He's slowing down. Um, but he does not have Alzheimer's, but he is, he does have age-related um, dementia. He's in the beginning stages of dementia. Okay, my next question is from Carmen B. Carmen B says, Biden's speech against Trumpism and 45's response, the poor me response, what can we expect next from the Don? What is coming next? When, when President Biden called out the Donald as being an extremist, that he must be stopped, that was the leadership that we needed. That was leadership we never got from old Donnie boy. What this did, what this actually did was have America do a 360. We turned completely around. Donald is worried now. I'm going to talk about this special master that he has been granted. Guys, do not worry about this special master. All of the documents that the DOJ uh, 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 took from Mar-a-Lago have already been cataloged and gone over. The only thing that a special master at this point can do, um, well, and they're and they're late. And this is this is this is what Merrick Garland has done. He they what this judge did was stop anything going forward from now. 
Not stop anything that already has happened. Can't stop any reports that have already been written. All they can do is stop any more evidence from being reviewed. But it's too late. They have already gone through every single, every iota of evidence that they removed from Mar-a-Lago. It has been cataloged. It has been documented. The this, uh, the uh, the uh, paperwork has been laid out. The crimes that old Donnie Boy committed have been laid out. He is not going to sneak away from this. What is going to happen with this is that this this special master will be granted. And basically what this is going to do is to allow uh, 45's lawyers to see exactly the case that the uh, DOJ has built against them from the evidence remo removed. It's not going to stop anything. It's not going to stop anything. It's only going to slow it down by about a week because the DOJ is going to fight this uh, judge. This judge is going to be brought up on... Um, on um, ethics violation charges um, for uh, preferential treatment of, uh, of, of uh, defendants and for basically stepping outside of her lane to offer avenues. She's not a lawyer, guys. She's a judge. So she's not supposed to be out there shopping her services around to defendants, to criminals. Don't worry about this. It doesn't matter that she is a, a federal judge. They can be removed from the bench. Yeah, it's a lifetime uh, a, a appointment. That can be removed by the next president that comes in. Okay? They serve at the leisure of the president. Whoever that person sitting is, but it's not even Joe's not going to do that. The DOJ and the justice is uh, the Justice Department is going to go after this judge. She will be removed from the bench unceremoniously. She will be called out as the tra traitor that she is, and this will be the first of many judges that we will see fall. Donnie tried to stack the bench. And he put a whole lot, him and Mitch McConnell put a whole lot of sycophants. But this, this right here, what's about to happen with this judge is going to send a clear message to all the other Trump appointed judges. You are not bulletproof. She is going to suffer behind what she did. She is going to suffer. And she is going to be the poster child of don't do this if you're a judge. Guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. She has only slowed things down by about a week. Nothing is going to come of this. She's not going to stop Donnie from getting arrested. She herself is going to get removed from the bench. Don't put your energy into it. If anything, just sing the song. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. She's gone. She's gone. She has broken the ethics laws. Okay. My next question is from Capricorn Queen 7425. 45, um, back um, at the end of his presidency, when he was trying to blackmail Vladimir Zelensky into saying that the Bidens committed some type of crime in the Ukraine, he blocked $400 million that was earmarked for Zelensky's uh, defense. He never gave uh, Volodymyr Zelensky that money. They only, after months, received a fraction of the money that was earmarked to go to Volodymyr Zelensky. Question is, what happened to the money? Did Donnie steal it? And will the DOJ go after him for it? Okay, what happened to the money that was earmarked for Ukraine that Donnie blocked? What happened to that money? Donnie gave it away! Oh my goodness, Donnie gave that money away. He changed the destination of Donnie 
Donnie pocketed that money. He made it to where he gave it to somebody else to where it would come right back to him. Guys, he this is going to this is going to be another investigation. No, never mind. He's a, this is already investigated. Again, this is already investigated. We are going to have to just wait for a whole lot of things to fall. When Donnie is finally in, indicted, guys, there are going to be so many charges against him. I'm serious. There are going to be pages of charges against him. And this is going to be one of them. This is a, a financial, this is a fraud crime, but this is a crime against the United States because Donnie took money that the Congress had destined, destined for somewhere and he redirected that money to somewhere else where it would come back to him. And then he wound up giving Vladimir Zelensky a pittance, a fraction of the money that was earmarked for him. Oh, and here's Donnie. Yes, he was, this is behind him. The, behind all of this was Donnie. The, the one thing that he is good at is robbing people. He has made that into an art form. He is a criminal thief. And when it comes to money crimes, he really does know how to steal. I have to put this. Donnie's going to lose on this front, uh, Capricorn Queen. Donnie is going to lose. Okay, he gets the, the Star of Good Hope. This is loss, theft, and abandon. Remember that. Loss, theft, and abandon. He's going to lose the money uh, because he stole theft. The money that uh, was earmarked for uh, Ukraine, who he abandoned, who needed his help, and against who? Way back then, Vlad was uh, messing with Ukraine. Donnie's only job was to help protect Ukraine. And Donnie sold him right down the river. Karma is coming after him, guys. He is not getting out of this. When he is finally brought up on charges there are going to be so many i just have to guys i just have to tell you that there are going he is going to get hit with so many different counts okay there's crimes against the united states there's crimes against the world there's crimes against humanity he stole money from the United States government. That's something they hang folks for here. You know, you can do a whole lot of stuff as a rich white person in America, but don't steal their money. That's kind of where America draws the line. Doesn't matter if you're rich or not. If you start stealing everybody's money, they'll come after you. And Department of Commerce is going to come after Donnie. Yes, they are. Donnie broke international laws. He broke I, I want to say it like this. He violated some treaties. Treaties that were literally cast in stone. He violated because he did not, we didn't, he made us not stand up to our side of the bargain. And he shafted a whole nother country and stole, misappropriated. There's the word that he is going to get hit with. Misappropriation of funds earmarked for a special purpose. Donnie reallocated those funds and made it to where it would flow right back to him. He has already been caught for that. That will be another thing on his subpoena that he will be charged with when he is finally arrested. Guys, there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of fighting about this. This is where old uh, Mitch McConnell is going to find himself in some trouble. That's And that's another reason. Mitch McConnell is reading the writing on the wall, guys. He understands what is about to happen. He knows how many people are about to go straight to jail. How many people in his own party that are his colleagues that have violated the law that are going to go to jail. They are going to lose the Senate. They are going to lose the House. They know this. They know this with beyond a shadow of a doubt. Doesn't matter what they are out there running around saying. Their money is drying up because the base, the big base is not supporting the GOP anymore. You have your sycophants who are giving O'Donnell money 
but they're not giving money to the rest of the GOP. Guys, we are at a change point. There are a lot of dark entities that are working. I mean, there are layers of evil. But guys, the, the fire got started in the basement and it is rising. It's coming up the stairs and pretty soon it will be all the way at the top. And that's how I have to an analyze this. We have to be patient. The GOP is imploding. It is destroying itself from within. The building is on fire and nobody's going to escape it, guys. The GOP will be brought down. It will, in the end of it, it will have to reinvent, rebrand, reconstitute itself. And this is going to be arduous, guys. This is going to be a long process. But understand, there's a lot of evil. There's a lot of evil. But we, 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 will, we will muck our way through a lot of it. And we will see some changes. We will see some very powerful people be brought to justice. And that's what this is all about, guys. Like I keep saying, the house of cards is falling. We are in a time of change. Things are going to get so much worse before they get better. And, and by the so much worse, I'm talking about the, DO, uh, the uh, GOP, the, uh, the ones that are on Donnie's side, the gullible, the violent, the ones who don't want to listen to the truth or reason, who want to live in a post-apocalyptic society. All these power struggles, structures, are falling. China, Russia, they all are having money problems, having flooding problems, having people problems. Worldwide. Worldwide. So this is not um, homogenous, guys. This is not just happening here. The same troubles that we are facing here, China is facing, India is facing, France is facing, England is facing. Every place in the world is facing the exact same thing that we are facing right now. Everybody's under on the same planet. We are all experiencing these weather anomalies. Every one of us who is in a summertime season right now is experiencing a hotter, longer, more arid summer than we have ever experienced in our lives. Things are changing. And things aren't changing in a good way right now. Because this things have to be torn down so that we can rebuild anew. And right now, guys, we are in the destruction phase. Hang on. Prepare. Things are going to get rough. Things are going to get rough. This is why we must elevate ourselves out of the muck. Watch from the box seats. I'm going to keep saying it. Take your emotions out of politics. It is politics. This is a political theater. Do not be physically and emotionally invested in it. Otherwise, you will be walk, walking around in confusion and fear. This will play out. And it's going to play out in the most base way possible. We, there will be violence. There already has been. We will see more random acts of violence because people are vested in politics and are listening like little sheep to a Pied Piper who is literally leading them to the pit of despair. We have to look at it for what it is and disassociate ourselves from it. And I'm just going to leave that right there. My next question is from Tanya. Tanya would like to know what kind of winter can we expect this year? 
Guys, this winter is not going to be like last winter. This winter is going to be more um, arid. We will not get the snowfall that we need to combat drought. It's going to be cold, frigid. It's going to be windy, windy and arid. It's going to be a like the summer, but cold. Okay? And the places that do get per, uh, precipitation in the form of snow, your snow packs will not be where they are need to be to refill water uh, ways and reservoirs, which will add to the which, which will add to the drought. We will have ice events, um, nor'easters. We will have several nor'easters this year. What we didn't get in hurricane season over the summer we will get in nor'easters in the winter when there is no Sahara sand to stop those winds from coming across. Okay? The uh, winter in America, in the southern states, Texas, Arizona, California, um, the, this uh, uh, east coast, uh, west coast over here, is uh, again, we are going to have a very dry, cold winter dry and cold in the Midwest again this is going to be terrible people in Oklahoma um, up to the uh, uh, Missouri um, Michigan areas it is going you guys where you usually get snow it is going to be less snow more wind again it's going to be frigid we are going to be dealing with wind events throughout the rest of this year, damaging straight line wind events. And we will have more um, before the end of this summer is over. Um, we will have another large uh, uh, wildfire um, outbreak in uh, Northern California, um, in Southern Oregon. Another huge wildfire that we will have to get under control. Guys, this winter is going to be um, unlike any other winter that we've had. Um, again, we're not going to get very much per uh, precipitation. The snow packs will be less. Um, the winter will be colder. It will be more windy. Um, and when we do get precipitation, we will get it in amounts that are, we will get rain in amounts that so heavy that we will have winter flooding. Hate to tell y'all that. Again, prepare. Please, please, please invest in a backup battery source. It is imperative now. Everywhere in the United States is needs to prepare for rolling blackouts right now. Everybody needs to. Understand, we can only help ourselves if we have what we need to help ourselves. Prepare now. Prepare now for what you know is coming. This week is going to be the hottest week across the entire United States. And we've got solar flares coming in. We've got earthquakes happening. Guys, the whole planet is in flux right now. Take care of yourself. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Be prepared for we what we know can happen. Again, fear is not going to, fear will kill you. Preparedness will save you. A little preparedness will save you. Okay? And, and I'm just going to leave that right there because that's all we need to do. Just a little preparedness. We know. I'm sure everybody's power company has already sent them the email or text message to reduce your energy consumption this week because it's going to be, the grid is going to be taxed. Prepare. A lot of people will lose power this week. Prepare. A lot of people will lose power this week. Prepare. Okay? Last question. This is by M. Uh, I'm going to have to say it this way. M. T. Sula. And I hope, I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. Uh, M.T. Sula is asking, is Prince Philip Meghan Markle's father's father? No. 
Prince Philip is not Meghan Markle's father's father. But I did want to throw on the actual spiritual relationship between the Markles and the uh, uh, Montbattens. That's the name of the royal family. What is the spiritual relationship between the Markles and the Montbattens? Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. This is interesting. Okay, the first card we get is the sun. And we know that this is just everything good. This is wealth. This is abundance. This is prosperity. This is literally the, the sun kissing you on the forehead and saying you are a blessed one. Okay. The second card we have, what's in front, is the page of swords, the spy in the camp. There is a story here, guys. The, the the royal family was so afraid of uh, Meghan Markle's marriage into the royal family because this is going, this literally opens up an avenue to where the royal, and this is all about her skin color, guys. This is all about her being of African ancestry. What Meghan Markle, and some of y'all are going to think this is crazy. What Meghan Markle did by marrying into the royal family is to complete a circle. A circle that was started a long time ago that was broken. There have been African people in the royal family before. There have been African people that had uh, um, uh, uh, titles in the Montbatten family and they've tried and tried and tried and tried to bury this okay they've tried to extract themselves from this truth this this is kind of like a prophecy and this is all about Archie this is all about that little boy Archie um Prince uh um Charles refuses to give Archie the title prince, even though his father is a prince. His grandfather is withholding his title. Guys, this is for fear. For fear that this little black boy and even though he looks white, because he is red-headed, he's a beautiful child. Beautiful, looks just like his daddy. Beautiful little boy. But he's still of African descent. And they are trying to do everything they can to make sure that he can never ascend to the, the throne of England. Because that is his righteous, where, his, where he is supposed to be. And guys, in future, in future, oh my goodness, this is going to come back around. This is going to be, this is going to be the story of the ages about familial uh, rivalry. Now remember, William is the rightful heir to the throne. He is the firstborn son of the firstborn son. He is the rightful heir and his son the firstborn son is his rightful heir. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. So, they are trying to keep this little boy from the throne. Like I said, William is the firstborn of the firstborn. William's son is his firstborn of the firstborn. The only way that... Um, <clears throat> uh, Harry could ever ascend to the throne is if his whole his brother's whole family died and then 
the throne belongs to Harry and his lineage. And that's not far-fetched, guys. Planes crash. Things happen to where entire families can be wiped out. Prince Charles is doing everything he can to make sure that a black man never takes the throne of England. But guys, it just might happen. It just might happen. All right. That's been my my read for Wednesday, the 7th of September, 2022. I love you. I love you. I love you. I have uh, openings for readings. If you would like a uh, private reading, um, they are only $25. Go to PsychicTanya9 at gmail.com. If you would like me to prepare you a uh, magic sachet for whatever you need it to be for, uh, Mercury goes retrograde Saturday, guys. If you need a Mercury, if you are plagued by Mercury going retrograde, get with me um, and I can get you a Mercury retrograde sachet sent out to you um, uh, uh, same day. Uh, Try to get it to you as quickly as possible. This is going to be a long one. Also, the, uh, that is at PsychicTanya9.com if you would like a sachet. And you can ask, I can prepare whatever type of sachet you need, want, or desire. You tell me what you want it to do, I will put the magic in there. Okay? Um, also at PsychicTanya9.com. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Um, namaste. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.